Good morning, everybody. How about that view of the Pacific Ocean? You are looking at the front yard view of San Simeon, California and the famous, the world famous Hearst Castle built by William Randolph Hearst, a media giant from the 20th century. And this was his front yard view when he would come out here and stay for months on end. Good morning, everybody. On behalf of California State Parks, I wanna welcome you to Hearst Castle, one of your 280 California State Parks. My name is Laura and you're here with us in another edition of Parks PE. And today our theme is Egyptian exercises with soothing Sekhmet. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a little walk here, over here to the right. And as we do, I wanna introduce you to a special guest that's gonna be joining us today with Parks PE. Her name is Kay. Hi everyone, good morning. And we're coming to you here from beautiful, sunny San Simeon, California. I wanna put a question out there to those of you that are watching us today. How many of you are from California? Raise your hand. Wonderful. How many of you out there are from the United States, but outside the state of California? Maybe from Wisconsin, maybe from Massachusetts. Raise your hand if you're from another state here from the US. All right. And finally, how many of you are from an international venue like Spain or Poland or maybe even China? Raise your hand if you're watching us internationally today. Wonderful. All right, that being said, welcome to the internationally famous Hearst Castle. William Randolph Hearst, I mentioned him, a media giant from the 20th century. He would be similar to today's Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook. Very wealthy businessman, and he decided to build here in a very re remote location called San Simeon, California, 450 miles to the south of San Francisco and exactly the same distance to the north of Los Angeles. Why in San Simeon of all places? Because his mom and his dad, George and Phoebe Hearst, purchased about 40,000 acres of land here when William was two years old in 1865, about 160 years ago almost. And William, as a boy, would crawl up all and climb all the oak trees around here. He learned how to hunt and he learned to enjoy mother nature out here. So he told his mom and his dad he was gonna build out here someday. And by golly, he did. About age 56, about a hundred years ago, he decided at the age of 56 to build here. And voila, we have Hearst Castle. We're gonna go ahead and walk a little bit along what's called the Esplanade here. It's a 400 meter sidewalk. And we're on the south side of the castle. And we're gonna walk over to a beautiful art piece. Actually, it's four art pieces. And you might be able to see a little bit of Hearst Castle in the background there, the two towers. And sitting here in the foreground of Hearst Castle and those towers are four pieces of the oldest art that Mr. Hearst would collect throughout his 88 years he lived on planet Earth. You're looking at what's called Sekhmet. Sekhmet is from ancient Egypt and hence the name of our and theme today of Parks PE. Egyptian exercises. Sekhmet, which is spelled S-E-K-H-M-E-T, she represented the sun god Ra. She's an ancient Egyptian goddess, half lion, as you can see her head there, it looks like a lion, and half woman. And she was the fierce protector of the sun god Ra. And the sun god Ra, you might be able to see over here on the far right-hand side, the disc behind her head there, that is the sun god Ra. And she was fierce and powerful. And as the daughter of the sun god Ra would make sure that she protected him. And she is protecting us today with the beautiful sunshine of San Simeon. And we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Like any good exercise program, we're gonna start with a, we'll go ahead and start with a warm up. We'll cool down today as well. Now, before we get started, I wanna go ahead and go over some 
safety issues and some health issues because those are our number one priority here with parts PE. First of all, number one, you wanna make sure that you've got your own hydration station, your own water bottle or hydration station as we like to call it up here. If you're feeling a little bit of lightheadedness or your heart rate is high or your respiration rate, your breathing rate gets really high during any of the exercises today, please sit it out and take, take a rest. We're gonna do somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 to 12 exercises, sometimes two complete sets of exercises at 10 to 15 repetitions per exercise. So do take a little rest when you need to and take a sip of that water as well. Also, you'll notice that on the tile mat, excuse me, the tile flooring here, for the ground, we have mats. So that's because many of our exercises are gonna be on the ground here today on the Esplanade. So if you've got a mat or maybe you've got some rug or some soft area, if you're inside joining us today, go ahead and find that soft area. All right, we've got those safety and health issues out of the way. Kay is gonna show you some modifications. I will show you the, the actual exercise with some progressions. And sometimes when we show you pictures today, folks, we want you to know that there'll be a little bit of an interruption in the video feed, but not to worry because there's just a little bit of a delay between showing you a picture of an animal, for example, and then being able to come back to the video feed. So just wanna let you know that offhand. All right, so without further ado, Kay, let's stop talking and let's start exercising. Okay. Now, speaking of pictures, there are some beautiful animals that live here along San Simeon's beautiful California coast. And one of those animals is called the elephant seal. In fact, about five miles away, or maybe eight kilometers away from Hearst Castle here, is a beach called Elephant Seal Beach. And you may be able to be seeing a picture of what an elephant seal looks like. And the elephant seal is a very graceful animal, aquatic animal that lives in the water, swimming around. But we're gonna go ahead and come out of the water like the seal and be a little clumsy because elephant seals, you can imagine them anyway, like to do jumping jacks. So as we come away uh, from the picture of the seal there, you see it's very shiny, it's very beautiful. It's up on land. We're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna come back and I want you to go ahead. This will be a standing type of exercise. We're gonna bring our feet together. And I want you to think about your posture throughout our exercise today. Bring the shoulders up the shoulders back and the shoulders down. You wanna maintain what's called an athletic posture. Tighten your midsection and tighten your rear end as I turn away from the camera. So good posture, proud chest, okay? We'll bring those feet together and then we're gonna bring our hands together like this. So think of these as your flippers of the elephant seal, all right? Your arms are parallel with the ground as you can see with Kay and myself. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump out as we do so, we open up just like that with our arms and our legs. And we come in, we clap and we come out, it's called an elephant seal jumping jack, all right? Now, some of us might have trouble doing this particular exercise because we have hip or shoulder issues. So Kay is gonna show you a little modification here. You can simply go ahead, if you've got shoulder issues, just step out, step in, step out, step in, step out, step in, step out, step in, or you can go and do a little hop. So you're hopping out, hopping in, or you can just simply jump out and then jump back in, all right? What if you have hip issues? Well, put those hands together and then come out. Hands together, come back out. In and out, in and out. So choose the modification with K that you'd like to do today, either with your shoulders or hopping out and in. Otherwise, join me. K, we're gonna do two sets of 15. Shoulders up, shoulders back. Here we go for 15, 15, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Faster if you want a little bit more. Four, three, two, one. There it is. Take a quick breath. Re engage those shoulders up and back. Set number two. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, more. Challenge. Give yourself a little bit faster. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Woo! Warm up everything. Shoulders, arms, heart rate, respiration rate, legs, rear end, calves, etc. All right, so let's slow it down a little bit. Take a little drink. Off your water bottle if you need to. And we're gonna go ahead, Kay and I are gonna demonstrate a little bit of shoulder work here. 
And at the same time, you get a chance to see another beautiful animal that lives along the San Simeon, California coast here. It's called a turkey vulture. And you'll see a beautiful wingspan here in just a moment. It's a very shoulder oriented type of exercise that we'll be doing. Now, turkey vultures are na mother nature's garbage collectors. The picture that you see there, that little turkey vulture is probably flying along the coast here in San Simeon, California, looking for some of mother nature's passed away animals. And what the turkey vulture does is it takes care of cleaning up those other animals or plants that have passed away as well here on the coast. And that is gonna be the basis of our next exercise. So your heart rate's coming down. You can do this seated if you wish. And as the camera comes back to us, we're gonna go ahead and stand out just like so, like you're a tree branch, okay? And again, you can do this seated if you wish. So if you're feeling a little uh, winded or your heart rate's up, you can do that. Now I'll show you a modification that Kay will demonstrate as well here if you can't do this. You're simply gonna uh, flap your wings, your open wings back and forth. It's a little, what we call a pulse, just pulse back and forth. Or you can do arm circles. Make sure as you go forward, you also go backward, okay? You wanna make sure too that you're not rounding your shoulders. You wanna have that good posture, proud chest, okay? Tightening the midsection as well, okay? Now, if you want, if you cannot do this, this is too hard on your shoulder, you can bring your arms back behind you like Kay's gonna show you, grab a wrist, and you're gonna push down towards the ground, eyes skyward, hold for a couple of seconds, and then switch wrists eyes to the sky. So you can do that as a modification if you wish, or you can also, as I come back to the camera, bring your arms out, not at this level, but rather about halfway down, and you can do a little rotation just like this. That will also stretch out those shoulders too, and it gets a little bit of your midsection. We wanna make sure though that the hips stay straight on. We're squaring the hips straight ahead. We're only moving from our torso on up. So Kay's gonna show you the modification, either the wrist behind the back or with the rotation. And I'm gonna do the turkey vulture. Here we go. So we go out just like this with a pulse or the arm circles. But I'm gonna show you another challenge. You saw those bell towers of Hearst Castle. I want you to think about yourself, your arms as being the towers of Hearst Castle and bring your arms up like so. So your upper arm is parallel with the ground. And I want you to say goodbye. And hello. Now, do turkey vultures actually do this? No, they do not. But this is a really good shoulder opening stretch. And if you want even more of a challenge with this goodbye and hello, you can do a little hip hinge. So as you say goodbye, you hinge and then you come back up. Make sure those wrists are straight on. They're not going too far back or too far forward. Okay, we're going to do 15 of these and we'll do one set. 15. Exhale down, inhale up. 13. 12, good posture, 11, 10. I'm going a little slower because it is really important to maintain proper form. And number seven, number six, up and down. Five, and four, and three, and two, and one. All right, there we go. Now. One more warm up exercise and it's gonna work our balance and it's gonna work our core. And we have to talk about another animal that is also populated in this beautiful area called the San Simeon, California coast. It's called a blue heron. It's also fowl, a bird, just like the turkey vulture, but it doesn't act like a nature, mother nature's garbage collector. It's actually something that loves to hang out at the ocean. And there's a beach down here besides Elephant Seal Beach called the William Randolph Hearst State Memorial Beach, about three miles from here, and we see a lot of blue heron. And you'll see that they like to stand on one leg. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pretend that we're a blue heron and stand on one leg. Now, some of you might need to go ahead and hold on to something stable like a table or a chair or even a wall. If you're holding onto a table or a chair, make sure it's up against that wall, okay? But otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and just hold the pose like that if you want a little bit more Bring your turkey vulture arms out like that. And we're gonna hold for about five seconds. And then we go ahead and switch it up. Now, again, if you need to hold on to something with some stability, go ahead and do that. You'll notice too that one of your legs 
may be a little bit more wobbly than the other. You saw that with me. Make sure you bring those arms back if you've got those turkey vulture wings out. There you go. We'll switch again. We'll do three more on each leg, holding for about five seconds. Breathe deeply through the nostrils. Exhale through the mouth. And if you want to really challenge yourself as we start number three here, how about closing your eyes? Oh my, close your eyes as you try to do this. I know that I can't do that without falling over a little bit. So I'm gonna keep my eyes open, but you can close your eyes out there if you want to. All right, let's do two more on each leg. The blue heron balancers, what we like to call these. And number four, finishing up number four here. And you should have that heart rate down by now after doing all those elephant seal jumping jacks. Finishing out with number five here. And finally, last half of number five. And bring it down, easy. All right, shake it out if you need to. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and talk a little bit more about segment here, especially as Kay points out on her headdress there. It's hard to see it but there's a little triangle right on the middle of her lioness head there. And that is known as a cobra. In Egyptian language, it's called uraeus. And you may be able to see a picture of a cobra here. I'm not sure if I, if I loaded that onto our camera here today, uh, but a cobra I want you to think of as like a snake because they are indigenous to uh, Egypt and I may not have had put that uh, picture on there for you to see. So I want you to think of a snake. We'll talk about lizards a little bit later, but snakes like to crawl on their belly. So we're gonna go ahead and go, come to the mat for the first time here. And if you've got that rug area or that soft area, we're gonna come down. So our toes are at the end of our mat, our feet are well, probably shoulder width, maybe hip width stance, bring the shoulders up and back, okay? We're gonna hinge at the hip, just like so and then sit back like into a little squat and we're gonna walk on out with our hands, just like so, okay? Now I'm gonna have Kay do what's called a little cat cow. So she's gonna arch her back and then extend the back of the head up. It's called a cow in this position and a cat. And of course, if you take a look at Sekhmet, she is part lioness, which is cat. So this would be your modification from the cobra stretch that we were gonna do. Otherwise, if you watch me, I'm gonna go ahead and come all the way down, put my snake body on the ground, just like so, my cobra snake body, my hands are close to my ribs, elbows in, and my toes are pointed. I'm just gonna go ahead and push up towards the sun god, Ra, and make sure that Sekhmet is protecting me. And the cobra that sits on her head that you saw earlier is a mark of superiority and power in the universe. And that's what Sekhmet is, very powerful Egyptian goddess. Okay, we wanna do about 10 of these. I'm at number four right now. I'm just pushing up through my elbows. Make sure those elbows stay straight in with your ribs because we don't wanna hurt your elbows or your shoulders if they flare out, okay? That's number five. We're gonna throw a little challenge in. Put my toes up underneath myself. I'm gonna come up into what's called a downward dog. And a downward dog looks like this like a triangle, and then I come back down into a cobra pose. There's number six. I'll do my last four, downward dog and a cobra. There we go. Let's try three more. And two more. One more after this. Keep the bodies nice and hot. Good, there it is. Come on down to all fours or stay on all fours if you did the modification. We're going to stay on all fours because we talked about Sekhmet being part lioness and part female, part woman. We're going to do what's called a lion climber. So focus in on her head there. And you'll notice that she looks like a lion and lions are on all fours. Maybe you'll see a picture of a mountain lion here, which by the way, are indigenous to the state of California. And they also like to run around here on the dry land at First Castle. That's going to be the basis of our next exercise. Now, mountain lions stay on all fours. They are always foraging for food and what have you. 
And Kay is going to continue with the cat cow. And she might even roar as she does the cat and moo as she does the cow. And by the way, the Hearst Corporation today raises cattle on its ranch. And I hear, I can hear Kay. Roar! Moo. And moo. Now that's not a mountain lion climber. We're going to do the mountain lion climber here. Right now, hands at the end for those who want the challenge. Bring yourself up into what's called a plank. I can't hear you, Kay. Roar away. Come on. All right, we're going to do some mountain lion climbers. You're going to run in place just like this, fast as you want or as slow as you want for 15. Go for it, Kay. Roar loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15. Woo! One set done, another one to go. Shoulders up, shoulders back. Roar! <laughs> Mountain lions, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five to go. Four, three, two, one. Woo! All right. Roar down. You got that <laughs> roar down. How about that roar? <laughs> Give us a thumbs up out there if you like Kay's roar. I certainly did. All right. We're a little out of breath. We're going to stay out of breath. But you know what? Another four legged animal. I want you to figure out what the animal is. It has stripes and it looks like a horse. And it was Mr. Hearst, one of his very favorite animals. And in fact, they live out here in San Simeon. And when you come out to visit us again in person, you might be able to get the chance to see the zebras. The zebras, they like to kick. And you're gonna see a nice picture of a kicking zebra here in just a second. And zebras, they're on all fours. And look at that kicker there. That's a, that's a pretty intense kick. And as the camera comes back to us with that little video interruption, that feed interruption, you see Kay and I on all four. And Kay is gonna show you the modification. So we're like the cat cow, and she's gonna take one leg and kick it back. And as she kicks it back, she's gonna point her toe down towards the ground, straighten out that leg, and then bring it back in knee to ground and kick. And she'll do 15 each leg. Now, if you want, you can add a little challenge and you could actually bend your elbows as you come down and then kick straight up towards the sky with that toe pointed down, okay? Or you can be with me, and we're going to do 15 kicks. We come in with our knee, and then kick straight up, just like that, okay? So, okay, here we go for 15. In and out for one. Inhale in, exhale out. Inhale in, three. I don't know what zebras make as a noise, but maybe they breathe hard like we are. Five, six, seven, number eight, number nine. 10, five to go. Come on, faster if you want. 13, 14, 15. All right, no rest for the weary. We do the other leg. Here we go. In for one, out. In for two, out for two. All right, breathe everybody. Five, only 10 to go, okay. <laughs> Seven, number eight, Woo. nine, number 10. We got 11 there, number 12, 13, 14, 15, there it is. Bring it down, guess what? We're only halfway done. <laughs> take a drink of water, take a breath, you need to. All right, we gotta make the transition fast here, Kay, here we go. All right, on all fours or on your toes, go back to that original leg, one, Two, three, number four, number five, kick high, six, be the zebra, bring out that inner zebra, eight, nine, 10, Woo. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, all right, switch those legs, out for one, two, three, number four, Five, six, seven. Are you breathing out there? Nine, 
10, five to go, okay. Three, two, one. There it is, bring it down. Woohoo! Easy peasy, right? All right, let's pop it on up, because guess what? It's time to do some bunny hoppers. Oh boy. Bunnies like to also come out here to San Simeon. We're gonna see a picture of a bunny. They like to shoot straight up. They hop straight up. Now, not all of us, as we catch our breath here, not all of us wanna go ahead and do a bunny hop because we might have sore hips or maybe some sore legs. So we can do modifications. So Kay and I are gonna show you some moves that we can do. Kay will show you the modifications. You can go ahead and instead of hopping straight up, you can just go ahead and stand your shoulders up and back, good posture, good chest, and just come up and down on your toes. And if you want, close your eyes. Oh yeah, work your balance, with your sense of where you are in space. It's called the kinesthetic sense. But if you want to be a bunny, hop, 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 hop. You want more challenge? Hop in quarter circles, just like so. Just make sure you don't make yourself dizzy, so go the other direction, okay? All right. If you want to, you can do what's called a squat hop. So it's a little bit wider, you squat and then you hop. You squat and then you hop. I'm gonna do the squat hops. You can do the hops or you can do the toe raises or the circle hops. 15 times two, here we go, okay. Shoulders up, shoulders back, squat, hop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, woo, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah. All right, little breather. Okay, I'm gonna do just bunny, regular bunny hops this time for 15, are we ready? One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, 10, one, two, three, four, 15. Easy peasy. And you know what it's time for? Either a drink of water, a cool down, or both. <laughs> and if any exercise program that it's worth its weight, always has a cool down. So we're gonna do that. And as you get, grab, excuse me, a little water, if you need it, take a look at this beautiful, what's called Stellar J. And I can hear them in the background. You might be able to hear them today. I don't see them. I'm, I asked them to come in on cue and to, uh, well, there goes one. <laughs> but you'll be able to see a, a good picture of one there. And look, looks like it's got a mohawk. It's a blue jay with a mohawk. They're called Stellar Jays. And I want you to think about, imagine a stellar jay sitting in your hand and you are feeding it. Because what do birds like to do when they feed? They like to dip, like so, okay? That's gonna be our first cool down exercise today, all right? So we'll come out of the shadows here so you can see us a little bit better. And you wanna go ahead, maintain about a hip to shoulder width stance, bring those shoulders up, those shoulders back, proud chest, tighten the rear end and tighten the midsection. And simply what you're gonna do is you're gonna what's do what's called a hip hinge. You're gonna just simply <laughs> hinge and come up. Inhale down, exhale up. Now, Kay's gonna show you a modification. Maybe you can't go all the way down with your body parallel to the ground. So only come like about halfway down or maybe put a little bend in your knees if you need to. It's almost like a squat, okay? So Kay's gonna show you 15 of those. I'm gonna do 15 of the bird dippers. My knees are not locked out, but they're pretty straight, okay? And I'm also gonna throw a challenge into it with my arms overhead, okay? All right, Kay, for 15, here we go. Down for one, inhale up, exhale down. Two, three, four. Keep that back nice and flat so you're not rounding the shoulders. Six, good, seven, good. This stretches the backs of your calves, the backs of your hamstrings. Number 10, up, 11, up. And since we're trying to cool down, stretching is what is so good. Let's do two more. Might have lost count and I apologize if I did. That's the last one. There it is. All right, the heart rate might've gotten up a little bit. We're really gonna cool it down. And as we decide to cool down, we're gonna do so in front of segment. And Kay and I are gonna come down to our mats. I'm gonna come over this way, my apologies. And we wanna come down. The little hip hinge we just did with the bird dipper, come down into a nice little four, four, all fours rather. And you're gonna see a picture of a little guy called a possum. And the possums, they like to 
do what's called playing possum. They like to pretend that they're asleep. So if you take a look at that little guy, that's gonna be what we do as our final exercise today. Not a bad exercise. So as we come back to the camera, you'll see that we're still on all fours. And I want you to go ahead and come down easy. So you're sitting down on your hip and then we want to go ahead and roll down onto our elbow and eventually onto our shoulder. This way we don't hurt our, low, our lower back or our upper back for that matter. Now we're gonna go ahead and come all the way down and we're gonna go ahead and lie flat on our back. We're gonna go ahead and place our backs of our hands on the ground and our palms towards the sky and just relax. And we're gonna take five deep breaths in and five deep breaths out. Okay, so for one, breathe in. Exhale out through your mouth. Number two, in through your nose. And exhale out through your mouth. Number three, in and out. In through the nose for four and out your mouth. And last one, five, breathe in and exhale out to the sound of the stellar J. All right, take a nice little pause there. I'm gonna go ahead and roll over onto my side, easy. You could do the same thing. I'm gonna come back up, easy, easy. All right, and as we do so, we're gonna go ahead and come towards the camera because we wanna thank you, Kay and myself, for coming out to Parks PE and to Hearst Castle, one of your 280 California State Parks. Join us next week here at Sekhmet for another round of Egyptian exercises. Today was part one. Next week, we will really be doing some soothing exercises with Sekhmet. August 12th, Thursday at 11 a.m., a week from today. We'll see you then. Kay says goodbye. Bye everyone. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Laura says goodbye and enjoy William Randolph Hearst front yard view. Bye everybody. <laughs>